Hello, 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 and welcome to my very first series on this channel. It's going to be my very first episode, very first video, very first game. It's mainly going to be a test for everything and everything of uh, me of my quote unquote video editing skills, but which are literally non existent. But yes, welcome to my first Pokemon Let's Play, I guess is what you could call it. It is a randomized Nuzlocke. And let me turn that down just a little bit for me for just a moment. But yeah, let me go ahead and go ahead and explain what it's going to be like. I'm going to plan on doing a whole series to where I'll go from Pokemon Red for first generation, then I'll do Pokemon Silver or Gold, whichever one I feel like doing, uh, and everything, and then I'll go to third generation, fourth, all the way through, and then eventually I'll be going back towards this one and do Fire Red or Leaf Green. And then maybe even a uh, heart gold, heart gold or soul silver, or one of those ones of that sort. And I'll try to do basically every one of them into a series. Uh, as for what I have on here for randomized, is the starters are completely randomized to being literally anything in the game. Uh, my PC potion is randomized. All items in the game are randomized. Let's see, the legendaries, the static legendary is going to be randomized to a le different legendary, so you never know, I might end up encountering three Mewtwo's or four Mewtwo's, who knows. But yeah. I don't think there was anything else. Uh, the trainer's Pokemon's are randomized, basically just the regular stuff that you would normally randomize with uh, a Nuzlocke and everything of this sort, so. Yeah, I have yet to play on this one yet, and I'm going to attempt to not use the speed up button or anything like that throughout the entire series, just because it's kind of, especially with this version, the regular red version, it is a bit broken to where you zoom through the game incredibly fast, so it's basically almost impossible to uh, control. So on that note, Let's go ahead and turn that back up, and let's go ahead and go ahead and get started. Hello there, welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak, people call me the Pokemon Professor. This world is inhabited by creatures called Pokemon. Never would have guessed. For some people, Pokemon are pets, others use them for fights. Which, when you truly think about it, that's really, really fucked up. <laughs> Myself, I study Pokemon as a profession. And then you're gonna go and get a ten-year-old to come out and do your work for you. Alright, so, as for my name... I'm gonna go ahead and use as by the name for my channel, which well, technically I should do Nightshade, but Night will be fine, just to keep it short and simple. This is my grandson. He's been your rival since you were a baby. Erm, um, what is his name again? He's gone senile, but it's... I don't really have a following or anything like that, or anybody particular I'd want to put this as, so we'll just name him Gary. Ah, that's right. I remember now. His name is Gary. And then I had a heart attack and died. Knight, your very own Pokemon legend is about to unfold. A wonderful world. Oh, that's not right. <laughs> A world of dreams and adventures with Pokemon! Oh wait, let's go! And then you hear a little Mario coin pop up. Alright. First things first, let's see what item we got. I'll take it! Holy crap, that's actually really nice. You can sell that for a tremendous amount of money. Oh, the nostalgia of playing this while it's still black and white and literally everything. Oh. 
<laughs> this is, I have not played... I think it was Pokemon Blue was the very first one I played, which that was in middle school, and that was a good... Oof. About 17 years ago? Wow, it has been a very long time since I've played the original games. So this ought to be fun to do. I hope, anyways. Plus, I've played Nuzlocke's before and everything, but I have yet to ever beat one. I've come close a few times, but this will be the first one ever that I have recorded, so... This should be quite interesting. And being the first generation, it's probably going to be the easiest it's ever going to be, because there's no natures, no, uh, abilities, no held items. Like, it's fairly simple and straightforward, plus if you get lucky, you can get something like, uh... Wow, I can't even think of the name. Meowth's Evolved Form, which has an incredibly high crit rate with Slash, or Victory Bell, or, you know, something with Rap, and such like that. But I also have no game-breaking moves uh, disabled for the first part. That way, I won't just randomly have some th something spawn and has Dragon Rage or something like that, which I'm not even sure if that's an issue in first gen. I don't even... Does Dragon Rage... I think it's still the same to where it does 40 damage, which obviously, if you have a level 5 Pokemon, that's going to be very, very bad. Oh, I should have been narrating this, but eh, whatever. Everybody has seen this a million times, so it's like, whatever. Alrighty, starting from... Yeah, let's do right to left. For the right. Ooh, a Haunter, which that's another thing. I do have Impossible Evos uh, enabled, so that way this could actually evolve into a Gengar if I wanted to. Which, oh, a Haunter this early would be amazing. Alright. Shelter. It's not a bad water, water ice Pokemon, so that's not a bad pick either. Fairly decent defenses, and I think it's a physical attacker? A pincer! That's really good, too, but I think Haunter would be the best bet, to be honest. Just a ghost type at this early in the game, that's just... You can't pass that up, especially being a Haunter. Knight received a Haunter! Haunt Haunt! What's a good name for this guy? Um, oh, no genders either, so you can't have the attract and all that stuff like that, so that's actually kind of nice too, so... He looks like a Tom, why not? Oh, Pincer versus Haunter, let's go! Gary wants to fight! And he's a douchebag. Wow, that back sprite for Haunter looks terrible. <laughs> but Pinsir is looking amazing though with that sprite. Alright, so it's a bug, so I should be able to hit it with all these, but uh, let's go ahead and do Confuse Ray first, just to help. This is a mean opening move set for Haunter, though. Ha <laughs> ha! It doesn't affect me. And with Lick, I actually have a chance to paralyze something, so... I might actually be able to get some paralyzations off when I'm trying to catch something, which would be kind of nice. They're not going to affect me. Does Nightshade do any more damage? Uh, Nightshade, Nightshade Gaming, go figure. There we go, there's a hit. Yeah, it looked us a little bit better. But, at the same time, if I come across a normal Pokemon, I'm a bit screwed right now. Like, I need to find something else. Because mine... My spell, or not spells, my attacks and stuff won't be able to affect him. Well, his stuff won't be able to affect me either, but still. 
Holy crap, we got three levels from that? Wow! Pinscher had a lot of XP to heal him. Ugh, the nostalgia of this. This is just amazing for me to actually be able to play this again. And for anybody uh, wondering what emulator I'm actually using for this, um, I was using Visual Boy Advance, but, like, that one for some reason, like, the audio would always come up, like, horrible to where it was crackling and popping and everything, so I went to and, uh, Googled it, the best, uh, Game Boy Advanced emulators, and I actually found one called MGBA, and I, it's doing pretty good from what I can see, so this is actually quite nice. And for anyone wondering that might be watching this at the moment, I will be trying to do these in 30 minute segments. And hopefully I'll be able to get a, a, a episode out at least every single day of the week, like Monday through Friday, which I'll probably end up taking the weekend off, but yeah. So... He's probably... Goldie's probably got pecs, so that's actually gonna hit me. Yep. Me having a Haunter this early on, like, this is basically a GG that I'm going to win. At least I would think. Unless someone comes out with a freaking Mewtwo. Ugh, this music. Parcel. So we get this over with so I can come back up here and get Pokeballs. Because if anybody remembers, in the first generation, you actually aren't given Pokeballs, apparently, unlike the later generations. So we actually have to come back up to buy them so you don't get those like free five that you normally get with the other ones, which kind of sucks, but eh, whatever. And another thing I gotta make sure I keep an, uh, an eye out for is the fact that poison can kill me. Speaking of normal Pokemon... Thankfully in this generation there's no uh, ability, so I won't have to worry about any... Um, what the hell they're called? The... Arena Trap abilities. At least I won't die from a wild Pokemon, at least. It'll just be a trainer's. <clears throat> but actually, uh, if a normal Pokemon only has normal attacks, even if it tries to struggle, it won't be able to hit me, because in this one it's still considered normal. It's not a question mark, like, no... No, uh, what the hell is it called? It's not an affiliated move in uh, other generations. Yep, time to get your little ten-year-old to come out and do your work for you. Poor little shelter is gonna be has its uh, condemned its life to sitting on this table forever. Poor little guy. All right, let's go and get the town map. I th think I remember where most routes are in this game. I think. I'm gonna have to probably look at my town map quite often so I can actually see where they all are. Oh, speaking of which, we do have that PP up, so actually we will be able to get quite a few Pokeballs. 
hopefully this is not my first encounter, because I'll have no way to damage it. Yep. So I would have to literally speed up and try to struggle it to be able to do any damage to it. Oh wait, I have a confused ray, that's right. I would rather not have a gold dean either. Sea kings are quite amazing, but Goldine is pretty much trash. So it's like trying to level that sucker up in a Nuzlocke. Oh, oof, that's that's gonna make me shudder. Why am I why am I even coming in here? Yeah, I don't need to be in here. Alright. Let's go ahead and sell that PP up. Oh! Oh no! It's actually it has no value in this game. Lame! Well, so much for that. Okay, so let's try three more Pokeballs and then we'll buy the rest of the antidotes. See how many of these uh, hidden items I can remember where they are. I know there's one up here. <clears throat> trying to remember where else they are. Found a moonstone, nice. If I get a Nidorino, a Nidoran, or a uh, female or male, that'd be nice. Before I go to the uh, one down south, let's see what I can get over here first. First encounter! A Machop! Ooh, I'll take it! I love Mach I love Machops. Like, this is another one that I'll be able to uh, evolve into a Machamp because of making- oh god. I'll try it one more time. Please don't kill it. Ooh! Okay. Pokeball. Catch it, catch it, catch it, catch it, catch it. Yeah. Uh, sorry about that. I had to sneeze real quick. Much up, superpower. Yeah, we have to give him a nickname. Nuzlocke rules, you have to nickname everything, so... What would be a good nickname for a chop? Mm. Eh, yeah, we'll name him Jack. Because, you know, he's so jacked. Ah, uh, corniness. And before I actually go get another encounter, nope, I actually want to train up Jack just a little bit, which I'm going to speed up here just a little bit. Oh, oh I can't. What happened to my speed up? Okay. There it is. Oh, God. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and speed up just a little bit here. There we go. Oh, 
Oh, he has Dragon Rage? He's supposed to freaking not do that! I saw that, you bastard! Now here's the real question, should I count that? In my opinion, I should invoke the, um, the rule to where the first episode Dragon Rage shouldn't matter. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that, because yeah, Dragon Rage in the first episode is a... a bit broken, to uh, say the least. Oh, wait, I'm not supposed to be using the speed up button for anything else other than that little bit of training I did. If I see another one, I'm definitely running. Okay, yep, we're running. Really? Six ought to be good. <coughs> Let me stop. Okay. That speed up button is incredibly addictive. Alright. Let's go down south and. Oh, actually, I kind of hope we do get the. Um, the Kangaskhan. Because that would be a powerhouse to get. Teach that sucker strength. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Strength stab, that'd be amazing. <clears throat> Come on, King it's gone. Ugh. Of course it's Goldeen. We're swapping the U. Because its peck would be super effective on uh Helm, so. <clears throat> Alright, let's do lick. Hopefully we get a paralyze. Yes! Should just better throw a Pokeball now. And it should catch this thing, so it doesn't have that great of a catch rate. There we go. We've got a decent little bit of cut type coverage at least. A water Pokemon, a fighting Pokemon, and a ghost. <coughs> it's not bad. Alright. I'll name you Naomi. There we go. So that's two encounters down. Now we have two more before we can go to uh, before Pewter, which is the route above here and then the forest. So let's go ahead and see what we get. shouldn't train up this guy real quick. Actually... Uh, I might want to... Just a little bit. Come on, let's go over here real quick. <clears throat> Actually, you're good. Pack on this, that should be super effective. That was quick. Oh god, that that speed up is horrendous. I don't even know why I'm using it. Well, I know I'm using it for the training part just to speed this up, because nobody wants to watch this. I should actually do this off camera, but whatever. To be honest, I should go down south and hopefully get a Kangaskhan, to be honest. That would actually be better. There we go. Oh, what am I doing? Confuse Ray. Right? 
Wow, no, 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 no. Let's go back to Tom. Wait, Nightshade works? Oh, I thought it was a... I thought, thought Nightshade was a ghost. Type move. Is it not in this one? It is! So how is that effective? Whatever. Oh, that music, though. I had no idea that- I guess it's because it's a guaranteed amount of damage. I guess? Are you level 6? Yeah, you're level 6. Okay. We're gonna lead off with you, though. Alright, no more speed up. For now, at least. I said no more speed up, but Jesus Christ, she's slow. Alrighty, let's go see what we get for our next two encounters. Let's go ahead and see what he catches. Yep, show me how to catch them Pokemans. Ah, Pidgey. I thought I randomized it. Or, or did it randomize to a Pidgey? Quite sure. All right, let's go. I know of several, uh, items in the Viridian Forest. Alright, what are we getting? I'll take a star you over a Goldie any day. Let's get this sucker. Come on, paralyze. Bang. Come on, paralyze. Yeah! I'll definitely take this guy. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I mean, dang, I've thrown three Pokeballs and caught three Pokemon. That's amazing. Yeah, we're gonna name this one Misty, just because anytime I see a star you, that's what it reminds me of. And we don't need to heal it. Let's go. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get this last encounter, and that'll be it for this uh, episode. Yep, hidden item. So I'm gonna try to get this item up here real quick, which we'll probably get the encounter at the same time. HP up, nice! Get the encounter. Come on. Um. Is it broken? Come on. There we go. A slow bur. Ooh, this is not good. Please don't have confusion yet. Oh no. Slowbro's a normal type? I thought it was a water type. Let's try it. <gasps> a 
Oh god, please live, please live, please live. Oh, thank you. At least you can eat that up pretty well. Thank god. Oh. Okay, we're gonna... We're gonna try to catch it. This is... This is power right here. If we can get Slowbro in this freaking one. Oh my god, Slowbro is amazing. Yeah, this is gonna be... This is gonna be hard to catch. Come on. Come on. Ah. Oh. Come on. Come on. Come on. Dang, it's only shaking once. It's got headbutt. Nice. Come on. Stay in the ball. Stay in the ball. Stay in the ball. Stay in the... Oh, yes! Yes! Oh, that's a... That's a beautiful addition to the team right there. Slowbro is absolute power in this one. <laughs> Since he's a slow bro, we'll name him Dude. Oh yeah. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and heal these up real quick and I'll end it at the end this episode off. Alright, so that's going to be the end for this first uh, episode. To anybody watching, I thank you for uh, watching it and everything. This is mainly just a test for me at the moment, just to see how I could get it. See how easy it is to video edit, so uh, thank you for watching, and hopefully I'll see you for episode two.